All right, Blair, we're gonna slide into this little cove right here. Be careful, there's a little log, actually a big log in the water right up here. We don't wanna hit that with a boat. Basically what we're gonna do, we'll put the talon down. We're gonna fish all this dead wood in here. Dead um, wood is good, huh? It's just a great area for, on a falling tide, everything's pushing against it. It's a great staging area for redfish and snook. Uh, they'll lay out in front of these logs and underneath them and around them and uh, hopefully there'll be somebody home. Blair, this area right here is kind of what I consider no man's land. It's uh, halfway between Everglades City and Flamingo. Series of rivers and creeks down here. Oh, look um, at him, he's on top. Oh yeah, chase right. him up to the top. And uh, as you can see, all this whole area was just devastated by uh, Wilma. So it's created a lot of fishing areas and spots. Gotta be something in here. It's the Everglades, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Never know what you're going to catch here. <laughs> that is for sure. It is a pretty place. Well, welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing. We're down here in the beautiful Everglades. We were supposed to go offshore, but as you can see, it's brown and white offshore. It means the wind is absolutely howling. Here's our log right here. Gotcha. We're going to stop. Yeah, we'll do it right here. So what we've done now, we've come back in the back country. We're fishing snook and redfish and tarpon, pretty much what you know, everybody else in the world loves to fish. Not too many people get to fish the tarpon and the kobe out there. So Absolutely. We're going to show you what we can find right here in the Everglades in the back country. Money. Money. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. There he is. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's a good fish. It's got that circle got hook working. To it. I'm amazed at how those trocars work. Uh, it's just, it all it's got to do is sharp. touch them, man. They're, they're surgically sharpened like a, like a hypodermic needle. Uh huh. And if you've ever had one go through your fingers, you know how sharp <laughs> they are. Because you really don't feel them go in until the barb hits. Uh oh. And I mean, <laughs> it's, it's too late. It's too late then. I've had a couple in my hand. Yeah, little red fish. Nice red fish. I've probably said this a million times over the past 15 years, but I don't care where you go and catch redfish, they pull. Isn't that funny? It's the past few days I haven't been hardly catching any redfish down here at all. I've been mostly catching snook. And <laughs> <laughs> this goes to show you every day's different in the Everglades, you know? You never know what you're going to catch down here. That is true. I absolutely love this place. And I guess we started coming down here in about 2000. Oh, I guess it was our first year we came down here in 98. Man, it was, it was fun. We came down here every year after that. Came down in 2001 and called it a 2001 Glades Odyssey. Oh yeah? It was neat. We were wading the mouth of the Shark River, which I don't recommend doing. <laughs> a lot of sharks down there. <laughs> they, don't, they don't call it the Shark River for nothing. Well, what do you say we re-rig and uh, head back over there and see if we can get a tarpon to eat? Sounds good. Let's do it. I catch enough of these redfish. I don't catch enough of those tarpon. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. We're going to get re-rigged and uh, hopefully show you a big poon. We'll be right back. Yeah, there's tarpon. And they're what? I haven't seen them in a while. Well, welcome back, folks. We're still here in the Everglades. Nice windy day still, and I'm using a pilchard, otherwise known as a scaled sardine, what we like to call snook candy. You say you think you got one hanging out over there? This log right here goes from right to left about 20 or 30 feet. Great spot to catch a big snook. Let's see if we got one living there. Good cast. Right on it. I got something messing with it now. There he is. Good fish. That's a good snook right there. You got a lot of logs over there, Blair. We need to get up there? Yes. <clears throat> nope, maybe not. Here he comes. Coming at you? Yeah. Just walking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is. No either. Big redfish, maybe? I don't know. Nice snook. Nice snook. Snooky, baby. Oh, that's a good one there, brother. He's going to keep coming. That's a big snook. Nice snook. Especially for this 7-2. <laughs> <laughs> With that excess on there, right? What pound braid do you have on there, Blair? Uh, 15. There's a log over there, so be careful. It's right there. Oh, I see him. Hey, you went around it. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a grown one there, brother. Nice fish. Uh, he might have been here before, huh? What's that? This snook. I think he's been living here. He knows where that log is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one too. Oh, that's, that's probably my biggest snook since 2010. Really? Since the freeze, because we really haven't targeted him. I got you. I didn't want to target any snook for at least five years. You know, I felt the same way. The first couple years after that freeze, I didn't even try to fish for him. Oh, that's a pretty one. He's you barely to hooked him? too. You want to get him? Grab him, okay. Yeah, what you doing? Easy now. <laughs> easy, buddy. Easy, 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 easy. That is what you come to the Everglades oh, for I right there. Oh, I can get there. my finger in his gills. There we go. Oh, How about that? That is a pretty one. That is a real pretty one. You want to grab that circle out? I sure can. Yeah, circle hooks for snook. Had so many people, you can't use circle hooks for snook. I don't know, it looked like it worked pretty good to me. It caught that one, didn't it? Yes, sir. It was in there, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh oh, somebody's got there your snook go. spot now. Uh, they don't have to see anything. I'm holding it down. Ho don't see it. We're going to get this guy in the water so this guy don't see. There's a beautiful snook right there from the Everglades. Don't worry about it. Look at that fish. Just show it to him. Wow. That's a pretty one. Let me see him. Yeah, let me get him in the water just a sec. Oh, look at that. Rabalo, line cider, snook, snook, whatever you want to call them, they are a beautiful fish. I call them Labrador snook, <laughs> especially when they get that big. One beautiful fish. He made it through the 2010 freeze. Yes, he did. Or should I say she did? That's funny how they just hang on to your thumb until they're ready and then they just <laughs> open up and let go. Get rid of some of that lactic acid that builds up while you fight them. Get on out of here. Nice fish. A beauty. Brian, that's what people come to the Everglades for, brother. Always a pleasure. If y'all ever want to do it, you got to look him up and come do this. He's been fishing here how long? 17 years. 17, guiding, guiding. 17 years. Yeah, I but you grew, grew up fishing here. One good guide to come with. What do you say we go uh, re-rig and get one of them tarpon? Sounds good. We got some tarpon rolling here behind us. We're gonna try to show you one of those. We're gonna get re-rigged. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be right back with Captain Brian Sanders in the beautiful Everglades on a windy day. Good job, man. Good fish. I don't know if you've noticed <laughs> What's going on out here? <laughs> it looks like a snowbank. <laughs> it looks like a giant sea of chocolate yoohoo. We got clean water here. Well, we got clean water here, and you know what? The snook are biting, the redfish are biting, and maybe we'll even get lucky and, and see a tarpon today. So you this say spot, all around this, yeah? Yeah, this spot right here is great. These trees, that's a really good cast right there. I got a catfish on my bait. Uh, the so left you can even dangle your jig under the water under the boat and catch a sail cat. <laughs> My mom would like that. She likes eating them. She things. likes eating those things? They're delicious. Really? Are they really? Never ate one. See that golf out there now. <laughs> That's not pretty. I'm glad we're not in the golf now. Oh, there he is, brother. Right there. On the Miradine, like I said. whacked that thing, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he did. Well, welcome back, folks. We've changed positions now. And like I say, when we pull up to a new spot, always love to throw a mirror lure in there just to check it out and see what's in there. And uh, we got a long, skinny one right now. Come here, dude. And gotcha. Mm. A Little snooky. A mouthful of hooks, doesn't he? <laughs> you know, since since 2010, I think that fish right there is probably a four-year-old fish. Not three quite, and a, yeah, three and a half two to four or three years old, probably. Everything I've learned from Moat Marine down there doing the Project Snook, 
This one right here is probably a three and a half to four year okay. old snook. With the bait population that got devastated so bad, uh -huh. they didn't have all that much to eat, but as soon as it started coming back, you know, they're, they're so they, good. Yeah, they were a little on the decline there. It's gonna be yanked right there. It's out almost. Just gonna be careful with these little dudes. There you go. Two and a half, three year old snooklet. Everglades snook. And there he goes. <laughs> Kick on, dude. There he goes. All right. <laughs> Let's see if there's another one down there. All right. That wants a Mirrodin XL. So on daylight today, you just bang spot to spot to spot to spot. Spot jumping. So what's been your best day since the big freeze of 2010? Last year, June, uh, I had a week I fished while those fish were spawning around the beaches and in this area, and I think we had 25 or 30 slot snook and probably eight or 10 snook that were over slot. And not like those 100 fish days though prior to the freeze, huh? Yeah, no more 100 fish days. There's only a few guys that I know that still do that. But, yeah. uh, they claim to. <laughs> All right, what's going on up here? Let me let that big Ooh, let sure. that big dog get away. You keep telling me you're not gonna hit me. I'm not. I promise. <laughs> Do they like any other colors other than this one here? I got the green bag. It's my favorite. I always throw this one because it looks so much like a I pilchard. noticed how, how much that looked like a pilchard. I mean it it it's, are, are they a sucker for red and white here too? They like red and white. I think I like the green back uh, the best. That's and the what way they're that, used to eating. Yeah, the way that lure flashes in the water is unbelievable. Uh-oh. You got a grown one under there? I think so. Hey, looks like a pretty good snooky. You know I just teased him up there with his mirrodine, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put a mirrodine on your hook. Okay. <laughs> I don't wanna see, eat this see, one right now. see if you're as good with a mirrodine as your live bait. Uh, I think he wants to. Come on back over here, Snooky. We're gonna show you off. He is barely hooked, Blair. You lead him right here and I'll barely clamp onto hooked. his uh, lower jaw. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm gonna put a live bait on. <laughs> oh, he's hooked good. Is he? Yeah. He's in that corner just like that other okay. one. I think. <laughs> oh yeah, he's good. Oh yeah, y'all ready? <laughs> a beautiful fish. God, these are so not a bad one there, buddy. They are nice and green. You want to get your circle out of there? I can do that. That well, would he was, he was that would be the laser trocar circle hook. <laughs> beautiful fish. Not bad. Man, I love these things. I hope we get many. It's like a slot fish there, 28, 29 inches. Yeah, it? it's a nice one. It's a pretty one, but it's not quite five years. And I said I won't keep a snook for five years, so this one's going back. See you, baby. There he goes. You're lucky it ain't five years. <laughs> I'm ready for a snook sandwich. We're gonna get re-positioned here, I think. I'm gonna put on a live bait and see what I can do at the, at the magical spot in the Everglades. We'll be right back, y'all stay tuned. Uh, it's been a couple years since we had fished with Captain Brian Sanders and uh, we'd always call him up because he's such a good fisherman and can put us on all these fish down there. And one thing about Chukalusky is every little corner down there looks like a great spot to fish. This log right here comes over to the left about 30 feet. Captain Brian, known as the Chuckalusky kid down there, he'll tell you, okay, we're gonna pull up to this shoreline and you're gonna cast here to this 10 feet, just three feet left of this stump sticking up and that's where you're gonna get your snook. Let's fish between this point here and that dead tree. There's a little edge, a little drop off there. Since 2010, the snook population, you know, has really been hit hard, but you get down there now and it is loaded up with those two and three year old snook now. Everything I've learned from Moat Marine down there doing the project snook, this one right here is probably a three and a half to four year old okay. snook. 
You know, a few years back down there in Chukaluski, they had a hurricane that came through and it came up through the keys from Flamingo and just basically wrapped around the Everglades and it killed so many trees, it was devastated for a while. But one thing that that wood does, the dead trees, once it gets down in the water, it dies and it creates habitat for all the snook down there. Where all these trees, this whole area was devastated by Hurricane Wilma. You know, one of the great new baits out there that I love throwing, especially when we first pull up to a spot before you start pitching any live bait around, is the new Miradine. The way that lure flashes in the water is unbelievable. If you ever happen to get a chance, to go down and fish with Captain Brian, make sure you do so. Remember one thing though, every season starts right here at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. All right, this is your hat trick spot, huh? It's the end of the day. <laughs> We've caught a lot of fish today. Uh, it's the very beginning of the incoming tide. There's not a lot of flow, but we have a little bit of water moving here. I'm getting tired, my back's hurting. <laughs> let's see if we can't well, catch a you, see if we can't catch a fish here. Where do you want to bait? Uh, let's let's fish between this point here and that dead tree. There's a little edge, a little drop off there. You take that side and take the dead tree. There you go. Dead wood. I'll put it over here on the point. Literally. It slipped right out of my hand. <laughs> my butter slipped off my biscuit. Oh come on. Don't disappoint, Miss Everglades. It is recovering from Wilma, though, man. I, man, the first time I came down here after Wilma, it was everything was brown, and it was dead, right. very dead. Ooh. And you know what? It's you, you look around, you see all these low mangroves that are coming up. These mangroves are now five or six years old. The whole backdrop now is nothing but green. I think I'm getting a bite. Nervous bait. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's a good bite. Mm. Something come on here. This one's fighting like a redfish there, Blair. The old redfish. Not on the point. That's one thing. They had, they, they were never around here that thick, were they? No. Not just till after the freeze. They kind of took the place of they, all the snake. They huh? totally have dominated since the snow. Passed on, but you Ooh, know what? Man, I had a fish on there. They're all and coming back broke, down. And I just broke him off. Uh oh. You know what that means? Yes, sir. I'll tell you what. If uh, if redfish has to take the place of all the snook that were here, <laughs> that ain't a bad deal, huh? No, not at all. <clears throat> Our red fishing is really, really over the past four or five years. It's really, really. I remember that we were we fished with you three years ago, and man, we caught a what? We caught fifty of these things. Easy. Yeah, in forty-five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was one right after the other. It was a lot of fun, but uh, and I'll, I'll say it again: redfish pull, and they pull great, and they're uh, whoop, they're not too bad table fare either. Hey, I tell you what, Brian. Once again, it's been three years, and I tell you what, he never disappoints. Uh, what's your website? SandersOutdoorGuide.com. SandersOutdoorGuide.com. Let me and, just uh, tell you one thing. You know, we've, we've had a lot of difficult conditions today. The wind's been blowing 25 or 30 knots. The water's getting dirty. There's no possible way we could have fished offshore. Uh -uh. We caught some bait this morning. We came in here. We were out of the wind all day, and we caught a lot of nice fish. You know, I have a lot of clients that uh, will call me the night before and say, hey, the wind's going to blow 25 knots. I don't think it's going to be good tomorrow. You know what? And today I've, I've had perfectly sunny and perfect days where you don't catch as many fish. Right. Today's perfect example that put forth the effort, come down here, you never know how you're going to do in the Everglades. Right presentation, right bait, good company, Trocar catch hooks. some fish. Blue rods. Meridines. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. I want to say thanks to Sunny there at Chukaluski Island Park and Marina. Great place to stay. They've really fixed the place up since Wilma hit. Great boat ramp, great facilities. I got a great tiki bar out front. It is a great place to stay now. You get a beautiful sunset and uh, a tiki bar. Absolutely. Let's go visit that tiki bar. Let's go. Thank you, brother. We'll see y'all next week. Don't know where, but we'll be catching fish. See ya. <laughs> oh. oh! Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Thanks to Sonny and Chuckle. <laughs> Come on. I don't know what to do, de-hook my fish or watch you.
<laughs> oh. Fish? No. I farted. Oh. <laughs> I want to say thanks to Sonny there at Chuckle. Chuckle. Look, 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 look. <laughs>